Man. Just pulled up, got to the motel. It was pretty wild, but Sportsman 62. No free shout outs. Not bad. Captain Johnny on the track. I can't feel my face. The veneer shining. The tequila. Trying to get a plan together, see what we're going to do tomorrow. I don't know my alphabet. Stay tuned. <laughs> you got to come in here to George's Grill, get some breakfast. Mm. Got considerably colder last night. Stayed up way too late. <clears throat> Went to bed about 2.30 and uh, getting some breakfast, trying to lick our wounds. Oh. So I think, boys. Quick little breakfast. At breakfast, we decided we we're gonna scout in the morning, go over and build a blind, and get ready for the hunt on Saturday. So we saw some numbers during the scout and we found their watering hole just due east of where our blind was going to be set up. So we were pretty jacked up about the hunt on Saturday morning. Wes well, out here grinding. Friday night, about eight o'clock. Been scouting all day, trying to find them. Just found where we think they landed earlier. Got the blind set up for the morning. Hey, is my GoPro looking at your GoPro? Right here, boys. Look at me. Oh, this is a great picture. Oh my gosh, is that Texas rig's new picture? Brian, you wanna get in it? Saw about a couple hundred of them. They flew over us. Only had about a couple of them commit and try to come in. Managed to get one down. Gonna try again because we've been seeing them on this spot and all their remainings and everything is here. So, gonna give it another shot. Got more decoys out there. Uh, honestly, hopefully they'll just get up from this water hole and come on over here and get a little bite to eat. And, we can smoke them. So we just sit, finished setting up our spread for the afternoon hunt. We only got one bird this morning. We're running about a dozen of the dive bomb industry silhouettes. And then we got about four dozen deception cranes fired up. The water's right over here. Hopefully we catch them on their evening flight. We'll see, stay tuned. Birds coming in left. Man, that's good. Getting cold. Now we're gonna pass it back down, so I gotta take two. Okay. Full snake draft. Mm-hmm. Alright guys, so we're about to pack up. Sun's going down on us pretty quick. Been sitting here since about one o'clock today. Hadn't seen nothing except for across the road behind us circling that water tank which we don't have access to so our plan is we're leaving tomorrow about lunch so I think the only shot we got is flip the spread 
flip the blind, face the other side to where we're looking at them, where they're flying over us this morning. We didn't shoot them this morning because we didn't want to bust them up. We thought we had a shot. Obviously, we didn't. So we're going to try that out. One more shot in the morning, see if we can't get some. Hey, quarter one through three. It's bad, but EJ, what quarter? EJ, what quarter is it? No, but it's fourth quarter, baby. Hold we ain't worried up. about it. Hey, we got one more hunt tomorrow. We ain't worried about it. That's a third of the hunts we've done all year. We ain't giving up yet. Hey. Ribeyes in the sky. We went by United, got some ribeyes on the land, and we're gonna eat those tonight. And then, You'll see uh, a video of Wes hitting the gritty with two cranes in his back. 80 yard shot, Winchester. Back. We're sky blasting, we're, we're uh, I wouldn't call it unethical, I'd call it desperate. Oh, those are done for sure. How did you uh, how did you get more comfortable in that blind this afternoon? Yeah, so the blind this morning, uh, you know, I'm a pretty tall guy, but I've also got a pretty big stool, so uh, uh, I was sitting in there about like this the whole time, but we made a few modifications. Uh, our buddy John that's with us is pretty engineerically sound and set up about six inches worth of room to where I could actually sit up straight in the blind and if we would have seen some cranes I feel like it would have worked but just like, had some dinner sitting by the fire it's about midnight you gotta wake up in about four hours but didn't have the luck that we expected this morning we're still optimistic about tomorrow we got one more hunt in the morning we're gonna get out there about 5 30 set everything up we flip the blind around flipping the decoy spread around hoping we get a shot at these ones that we saw this morning coming at us and we're all shooting. Wait, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. All right, ready? They're on your wait. side. Wait. Wait. One. Wait. Shut the fuck up. Go. Oh, them three and a half are pretty loud. Yeah, well, them threes are just as loud out of this fucking ear. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You need to jump up early. No, no dude, it's way up. too fucking far. One bird went down. We weren't for sure if it was dead, but I wasn't going to let it go given the lack of success we had over the weekend. Be a bird. Come on. Come on. Well, two birds and 72 hours of hunting uh, isn't ideal, but we had a great time, made some great memories, and, and learned a lot about crane hunting. For it being our first time, I think we did all right. Thank you all for watching Texas Rigged Outdoors. We'll see you all next time.